Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how can we take out average open time of the incidents. This was a question asked on my YouTube channel. So I thought of making a quick video on this. Another thing which was mentioned in this video was that they did not have performance analytics license. So if they would have been having that, they could directly use a dashboard which is out of the box, which will show you the open incidents, history, the time, the trends and everything. Let's quickly see that on ServiceNode documentation. So this is the ServiceNode documentation of that dashboard open incidents age monitor dashboard. So if you already have performance analytics license, so you don't need to follow the process which I'm about to tell. You can just directly go and use this dashboard. Now for achieving our requirement as we don't have this license, we would have to create a new field on the incident table. I'll quickly take you to my incident table and here you would see a new field which I had created. I'll just bring it on and the name is now date time. I'll just pull it up here. And this basically stores the current date and time of the service now instance. So if I scroll it up on any value, so it will say just now, just now and just now. So this is basically storing your current date and time. I will take you now to the configuration of this column. For that I went to configure and table and then I will select column label which is now date time and I will take you in this. So you can see here the type of this column is date time. So you will have to create a new column which is of type date and time. Then you have to give that column label according to your organization's best practices. And under calculated value, you will have to select script and write this line of code which is return new glide date time dot get display value. So this will basically always calculate the current date and time value and store that in that column and it will always show you the current date and time of that particular instance. Now when you have created this field, you will have to create a new report. I have already created this report just to save our time. If you want to learn more about creating reports in detail, please click on the top right corner. Now when you would be creating this report, you will have to give a name and then select the table name as incident because you are creating this on incident. I'll click on next and here I will select list as of now just to make things simpler. So I'll select this, select next. And here you would notice that we have the open date, which is the date of the incident when it was opened. So here it is approximately 2018. And then we have now date time, which is the field which we just created, which is always showing the current date and time. And then we have this field called open duration, which I created through configure function field. So if you want to learn more about configure function field, I will paste the link in description and it's also on the top right corner and you will get a video which is detailed on what are function fields and how can you configure that. For this example, I will quickly take you through configure function field. And here I have created a new function field, which is called open duration. I, I had given the name of the label and selected the return type as duration because we have to show how long this incident has been opened. Then I added an operation called date diff, which you can find here. And there are some details on this as well. And after that, I selected the name of the column, which we had created, which is the current date time. So the backend name is u underscore now date time and this is opened at is the time when this incident was opened. Okay, I'll again save this. And after saving, you would be able to see the duration for how long this incident has been opened. And additionally, I have added conditions here that state should not be resolved, closed or cancelled. So you can put your own conditions according to your requirement. Maybe active is true, only those tickets you want. And even if you want on some particular group, you can select the assignment group. For example, is maybe server group or maybe the database group or service desk group. So you can select as per your need. I can see these many incidents which are assigned to this group and they are in open state. Now, if you want to see the average time of all these incidents since how long they have been opened. I will again go back to type and instead of list, I will select single score report. 
and here I will select under configuration I will select aggregation average and then I will select the function field name and the function field name was open duration and it has given me the average duration of open tickets which are assigned to the service desk team so similarly you can find the average duration of your teams or for some other teams one thing to note this function field which we had created will not be available in your table or in your list view of the incident table because these are created just in the report so that's one advantage that you are not creating additional columns on tables as well and there is a bonus fact since you have stuck in this video you can create interactive filters for your dashboard where you can give the priority like 1 2 3 and 4 and you can update this report according to that which will impress your client so to learn more about interactive filters please click on the top right corner and i have made a detailed video on how to create interactive filters and you can use that in this context and you would be able to dynamically give conditions on the dashboard which will be very very helpful to the client and trust me i hope this video was helpful to you let me know in comments if you have any questions and please let me know if you want me to create any video on some specific content